Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode we had another unfortunately unsuccessful attempt at uh, winning the Crusade, which uh, still continues. It's back down to 16% now, after being up to somewhere in the 80s, I think, at its highest. But we've uh, pretty much given that up for a lost cause at this point. Uh, we also made some progress on gaining further control over our capital duchy of Albany, our new capital, since we've moved the capital to Fife. Uh, we now have two counties in here, we just revoked Athol, so we'd like to get Strathern if possible, and Gowrie later once our truce with the Earl there expires. So let's go ahead and start plotting to revoke Strathern, if we can get enough support for this now that would be great. Uh, I noticed that my Marshal is not doing anything, so let's have him stop leading troops and train troops in our capital instead. And let's go down and check on the Crusade, see what's going on down there. Oh, I have troops down here still. Where did these guys come from? Hired troops. Well, let's disband them. Is that the hired troops? Let's see, there's uh, 495. Well, let's just piss those this way. Yeah, I guess there were some hired troops in there, and the rest is from vassals. Well, it actually says we only have 54 raids, so maybe some of these are our retinues? Alright, I'm just going to disband these, and I guess these must be retinues, so we're going to have to send some boats down there to get them. Hmm. We might have inherited those from somebody. Uh, let's see... I forgot how many troops there were down there already, and uh, that should be enough. Yeah, 157. I mean, we could just disband them and not bother doing this, but I guess we'll take some free retinue. Anyway, uh, back to our plot. We'll see if we actually get any support for this this time. Well, we got support before, but just not enough, I think. We should be able to bribe the Duke of Ulster in, though he might be a bit expensive. Let's. Try going a little bit faster than speed one as well, that might be a good idea. Only 73%. Anybody else who might be cheaper than a duke? Seems unlikely, but the good news is that just one duke should do it for us. 101 gold? Eh, that's actually not so bad. We'll see if the other duke was cheaper, since I think he would also get us above the 80% that we need. 43 is better. Ooh, the Aftasids are doing pretty well down here in Iberia. We lost our Spy Master. He died after a period of illness. So uh, let's actually check on our new Duke of Munster. He is seven years old. See if we can offer to educate him ourselves. We have to do this first. So we can make sure that he likes us a little better. If he becomes Scottish, all the better. So we can appoint the Duke of Ulster now as Spymaster, which, I mean, he's okay at the job. Our other option is a guy who's a commander. We'd probably prefer to keep him as a commander, maybe. Though he's actually not very good at that. I think I had him appointed as commander because he was previously receiving military advice from Jesus, and that apparently has gone away. Uh, I think we'll just appoint Ulster, though, make sure he doesn't cause us any trouble. We'll send him off to study technology. Okay, so we are the new Guardian. And we have the ability to revoke Strathern at any point. Uh, things actually seem to be going a bit better in the Crusade now that I look at this. I don't think I'll make another attempt at helping out, though. I wonder where the uh, Fatimid army went to. They have another war going on. Called in as an ally, apparently. They should have another 15,000 troops or so somewhere. Anyway, I'll just get my mysterious retinue that I presume I inherited back home, and we'll just take care of revoking this county. 
I guess there's no reason not to wait for the retinue. We may as well just do it right now. Yeah, he does not accept the revocation, so we're going to have to fight him. You would think he would learn from what happened to the previous guy that we tried to revoke a title from. But apparently not, and I guess we need to replace him as commander as well. This guy is pretty good. Uh, let's just raise some domain troops, I suppose. Should be more than enough. So we're attacking him in the plains. We won't be at full morale, but I think we'll be on average higher than he is. So I think I'll just continue to move in there with all of these troops. We'll make sure that we get commanders in charge of whoever's going to get there first, which is this one for some reason, though it looks like it's traveling further. I guess he is still receiving military advice from a higher power. Maybe it just doesn't show up in the other list for some reason. Anyway, I probably should chase these raiders away at some point, shouldn't I? Though since we don't actually own that county yet, maybe I don't care that much. It looks like we're going to win a battle over here. And then, oh. Then die a natural death at the age of 65, so be it. Um, but it also looks like the Fatimid army, the main part of it, is going to go in and uh, turn the tide of that pretty quickly. So, we're getting one last event apparently before we died. <laughs> oh no, our wife, the queen, has sent us a gift. It's a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow up into a great hunting dog. So just too late to improve our health and possibly keep us alive a little bit longer. I guess we'll uh, posthumously accept this gracious gift. Uh, so we lost our Chancellor for some reason, okay. Our heir currently is our son, but uh, I don't think that will continue to be the case once the Tanistry succession takes hold. So let's see what we need to deal with here. Uh, we'll hold off on picking a character focus. The Council will be discontented for a while. We need to appoint a new Chancellor. Let's check on our vassal opinions. Okay, so it looks like a couple of the powerful vassals at least are pretty happy. Some of them are down in the 20 range. Our Duke of Munster, though, is only uh, 7, as we learned, so... He won't be a problem. Same deal with Connacht, actually. He's 3. Alright, so nobody's extremely unhappy. Hopefully we'll have a reasonable time here. Let's check on the succession and who we might want to nominate as successor. Well, why don't we just hold off on our own nomination and see who everybody votes for. We'll pick a character focus. Uh, let's start with a diplomacy focus until we make sure that everything is stable in the realm. Uh, we'll give the commander title to, I guess, just the best person for the job. Maybe the Earl of Kildare, since he'll be more powerful, since even though he's slightly worse. Chancellor, we apparently do not have any powerful vassals that aren't already on the council. This may need to update, so I'll actually hold off for a little while on doing that. Uh, we're going to wait on that as well. And for our ambition, I guess the only one available is to become a paragon of virtue, so that's what we'll do. So let's unpause for a while and see what goes on here. We uh, are no longer involved in the Crusade, incidentally. And also our war to revoke this county was ended, so we'll need to disband stuff and get that done again. All right, people are maybe voting for Wallen. We'll see if that stays as well. It seems like people are going to vote for our cousin Alexander, who unfortunately is pretty old. Alright, we do have a faction started. Uh, 49% on the increased council power faction as well. But if nobody else joins, that's not going to be a problem. 
Yeah, we're looking okay. All right, well, we need uh, to do something about our daughter's education. She is indolent and playful. Which would make for a good intrigue education. Yeah, and I guess that's all, so that's what we'll do. All right, and let's see who we want to appoint as Chancellor. I guess we'll just appoint our Duke of East Anglia. Let's have him work on one of the people in this faction. I'm assuming that the Duke of Ulster is going to be more powerful. On the other hand, though, he's going to uh, drop out of the faction as soon as the council becomes content. But I guess that won't be for a while, so we may as well have our Chancellor work on him for the time being. So it seems that everybody is intent on voting for Alexander here. In Ireland, they want Ninian, though, which I would much prefer just purely based on his age, and also he's quick. So let's see if we can get people to vote for him for Scotland as well. We certainly don't want our two kingdom titles going to different characters. That would be very unfortunate. If we were to die in the near future... Uh, I didn't nominate somebody for Ireland, so let's do that as well. We'll just confirm Ninian. See how that goes. So the Crusade is down to minus 32. It seems like nobody is inclined to vote for Ninian for... Scotland, unfortunately. So I guess we're going to have to try to vote for Alexander for Ireland to get them both on the same air. As I enter my chambers, all of the work I had done in my spare time seems to have been cleaned up and put back. Books are neatly set in alphabetical order and notes have been thrown away. John Dunbar was apparently cleaning earlier. Our son, I see. He is fussy, so I guess that's in character. You can say that I'll mess up his chambers, or say that cleaning is not my virtue. Well, I don't want to lose 50 prestige, since that actually slightly matters at this point. So we'll go mess up his chambers, I suppose. John is quietly cleaning his chambers after my episode in there. It seems like he, he is a very thorough child. He's going to become conscientious. And he hates us. Oh. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's appoint the Bishop of Christchurch as our new commander. Alright, so it looks like we have a kind of a problem here with our successions. Our vassals seem to be pretty fixated on electing Ninian for Ireland and Alexander for Scotland, which is definitely not what we want. We might have to change our succession laws once we've been in power for 10 years. Assuming that we live that long, which let's hope that we do. The crusade for Jerusalem has failed. Jesus, it seems, does not favor the Christian faithful after a string of defeats and setbacks. The Pope has called off the crusade for Jerusalem against the Caliph a black day. Well, that is unfortunate. All right, well, let's now do something about these raiders, finally. How about? Since it seems we're not going to have too much trouble with factions. This one is still hovering around 51%, but I think that's okay. I don't think anyone is too likely to join there if they haven't already. Let's get you as well. Should be... Enough troops. Let's not lead troops ourselves, since dying at this point would be pretty unfortunate. A revolt in Munster as well. And we can hold a grand tournament, so maybe we'll do that. The King of France wants to betroth some person here to my daughter. 
his grandson, I guess. Um, son of the second in line, I guess, or maybe the fourth in line? They both have the same name. I kind of doubt this will give us an alliance or a non-aggression pact, but I guess I'll accept. Oh, and that faction has become dangerous, okay. So the Duke of Moray is at 58, it seems like he might be able to be persuaded out of the counts or out of the faction here. So 91 gold will get him up to 74. And we can get him up to 79 with that. Also he's maimed, so he might just die. I guess that was enough though, because the faction has gone away. Oh, it has just come back though. Um, I think we'll just disband the troops at this point. I think we've done enough. Hmm, maybe he didn't leave. Well, at 80, he should get out. Uh, do we have vassal levies raised? Oh, the fleet, of course. Which reminds me... ...to actually do this. So Galloway is going to get slightly annoyed, but I don't think he was one of these faction members. And we have Ulster and Moray and East Anglia as the Dukes. So East Anglia is only a single county Duke, so we probably shouldn't worry about him too much. Okay, so East Anglia says that loyal servants such as him surely deserve some recognition and rewards from time to time. It is widely known that you hold huge lands and many titles. Well, I don't know, seven. Counts as many, but okay and are as generous as you are wise, perhaps you would consider granting the this humble servant the County of Lothian. Well, we do definitely want to hold on to this for the moment, so... We could do it in exchange for a favor, which I don't think we particularly care about too much. We can grant it to him. We can say this greed does not become you and his opinion changes by minus five, or because of our high diplomacy, we can refuse, but he won't be disappointed. Let's take this option, I think. At some point, we're going to press his claim for the other county in the Duchy of East Anglia, so he should be satisfied with that. Okay, so Moray is still in here. And, in fact, somebody else has joined as well. Alright, let's take care of our kinsman's childhood focus. Uh, we'll get him something diplomacy-related. What does club-footed do? It just affects Marshall. Yeah, we'll go for diplomacy. And our kinsman, Glenn, needs an education focus. Let's see, he's indolent, curious, and affectionate. Uh, which means that diplomatic should be very good. I doubt we're going to do better than that. So let's go for it. Alright, this faction is definitely getting worse, and Galloway is in the faction now. Let's see how much he wants for a gift. 56 gold we can definitely afford. Should get him out of there. Oh, and of course we have a peasant revolt. About 4,000, we should be able to take them, but I... 
rather not have to. Uh, let's just disband some of the more distant troops since I don't think we're going to need them. I have more than enough here. Raiders in Desmond. I think these are the same ones that we chased away from, from Fife before. They seem to be on their way somewhere else now anyway. Alright, we've gotten rid of a smuggler's ring in Athol. The Waldensian heresy has appeared in Oriel. Let's get our Ecclesiarch started on trying to convert that as soon as possible. Okay, so Galloway is out. We're down to 97, which is still not great. If Moray would leave or my Chancellor would start improving opinion with Ulster, I would really appreciate it. Let's get these boats disbanded. And let's get this Peasant Revolt taken care of as quickly as possible. We'll execute him as well. So we could hold a grand tournament, which um, would certainly give us some, some prestige, which would help out a little bit with the Vassal Opinion. We should only need to get... Uh, oh, Moray's at 94, but uh, is still in the faction. Maybe he'll leave in the near future. We might hold the tournament anyway, but we are just about out of time for this episode, so we'll have to leave it here for the moment. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.